Hello, my name is Charles and I want to welcome you to the God Principles Living in the Philippines. That's the good orderly directions living in the Philippines. This video is going to be about dating Filipinas living in the Philippines and catfishing. You're going to love this. My name is Charles and I came to the Philippines on an LDR relationship. I had met her online through Facebook through a friend of mine that had a Facebook page that had the Filipinas looking for American men. He was married living in Florida and he put me on that page. Now this is pre COVID. This is during COVID. And so I get on the Facebook page, and I want to remind you, realize this is about catfishing. They are very sophisticated over here with this catfishing technique, and you're going to see why. I'm going to tell you why, because you have to be real careful who you trust. So I'm on the Facebook page, and one of the administrators reached out to me so that she could introduce herself. But at that time, it was one of those typhoons over here, a real bad one. Just like we got going on right now, we have a really bad typhoon going on. And there are some cities that get really flooded out there really bad, and they need assistance. I'm on the Facebook group page, and there are Filipinas reaching out to me saying if I could assist them. Me being very wary of catfishing and spam and scams, I was really reluctant. However, there was one woman on there. She contacted me through Facebook. We actually did a Facebook Live, and she showed me what was going on. They were partially isolated, and the government couldn't get to them with help. She had two children. So I thought hard, long, and hard, and I contacted the Facebook administrator for the group, and I told her, I said, will you check this person out and see if this is real? And she did and found out it was legit. And she only wanted $10. So I sent the $10 to the Facebook administrator and she got it to her because I, I wasn't trusting what was going on. I didn't know anything about getting around or doing anything in the Philippines. So anyway, she got the money to her and Everything went fine. The, the lady sent me pictures of what she bought. She got her children some medication because the typhoon had messed them up some, some more bad. And everything went fine. It was fine. I had no problem with it. She never bothered me anymore. Well, she didn't really bother me. She was just in a desperate situation. So the Facebook administrator, she tells me that she has a sister that she wants to introduce me to. Now realize I've already made established communications with this administrator and I had dropped my guard and I said, okay, fine, go ahead and introduce me to her. Realize this is still doing COVID. I'm not going to be able to come over there. However, I didn't think anything wrong with it, having someone to talk to during COVID because we all isolated. So anyway, I started talking to her and she started talking about well yeah she'd like to meet me and then it this was around christmas of 2021 20 yeah 2021 or 2020 something like that and so you know i i offered to buy her load she turned it down and because i'm i'm looking at the other youtube uh YouTube video trying to make sure that I get a lay of the land and what to do and what not to do. And the administrator of the Facebook group, her sister said it would be a good idea because I was really saying, well, I really appreciate talking to them. Could I send her a little gift? Her sister suggested that I send her a phone because she had an old phone. So I didn't see no problem with it. I ordered one of them from over here through Amazon. 
and it made it just fine. At that point, she and I started talking more. Uh, the camera on the phone that she had, she was able to make pictures and things of that nature and send them to me. And so things were moving right along. Then she asked for a few dollars for some groceries. I said, okay, I'm going to try and see what happens. This is what happened. I sent her a few dollars for groceries, and she actually went to the store. She sold the video of her buying groceries and everything, and it looked perfectly fine. I said, cool. I felt comfortable with it. And so the next time she asked, I told her no just to see what she would do. She stopped talking to me, just like that. Just like that. I had made arrangements for her to work for my business and everything because I was really serious about it. We'd been talking that long. She broke off communications and because we were connected on Facebook, I was able to look at her Facebook page and all of a sudden I noticed there were pictures on the beach at night and I said, Who's taking the pictures? They weren't racy or anything. They were just pictures of her out on the beach, on the rocks at night. To make a long story short, a little time after that, I was still talking to her sister, the administrator, and she came up pregnant. The girl that I was talking to in the LDR, she came up pregnant. Her family didn't know anything about it. And her sister said she didn't know anything about it that just surprised her. And that's the way it was. I haven't talked to that one no more. I don't follow on Facebook. But it, but it looks like, okay, everything's fine until I come here. Then what happens is like, wait a minute. Here in Cebu, I started talking to one of the, they call them nannies. And I was thinking about taking her out. I said, okay, I got to try this again. And she was introduced to me through my housekeeper. Brand new. But getting a housekeeper is important. Getting one that's going to look out for you, that's going to take some work. Anyway, she started coming by here and stuff like that. And then I said, okay, fine. We're going to go away for the weekend. And I took her shopping to get a bathing suit, and she bought a couple of outfits, and she brought the woman she was working for with us. And I noticed there were quite a few items in the shopping cart. I went ahead and did it. I played along. I said, this is not going to hurt, and bought the items. When we came back, the woman she was working with, working for taking care of her child took the clothes with her when we left because she stayed here then come to find out the woman my housekeeper at the time came back and said that the girl was embarrassed because her employer put clothes in the shopping cart and had her pay for them and she really didn't mean no harm so now my housekeeper is vouching for her my housekeeper then said, okay, you know, I work with this girl. I know this girl's mother. And so I said, okay, okay, we'll, we'll play this alone. But it went downhill from there. Um, come to find out she was married. She was working here in Basewater. And all of a sudden, she just up and disappeared, just like that. And I haven't heard anything more from her. Now, the moral of the story is this, is they may be having people, uh, feelers, that's what we call them. You know, in Chicago, we have uh, scams and uh, con games, and they have their feelers out there. They'll have somebody like they're, they're doing the shell games with the cards, and actually some of them people are actually working with that guy, and they're the ones that make you think everything's okay, and it's not. That's how sophisticated catfishing can be here in the philippines you may think they may establish uh friendliness and tr trustworthiness only to direct you to somebody that's going to take you for a ride 
they even get so sophisticated that they will disarm you because they're babysitting and you think they're safe because somebody then hired them to uh, take care of their child. But in reality, they're still on the hunt for money. If this has been value to you, my name is Charles. This is the God Principles Living in the Philippines. If you are interested in learning how to navigate the Philippines, one of the things that I suggest is that you get a housekeeper or a local in order to help you navigate while you're here by yourself or you move here. If you're looking for someone, a housekeeper, a, a companion, not sexually, someone that can help you when you're here in the Philippines, I'm going to leave a link below in the description. You can contact me and let me know when you're going to be here and we can make some arrangements to get you a companion that can help you move around. My name is Charles Davis. Thank you for watching.